there is so much more to, to Final Cut Pro. It's an incredibly rich and dense program, really filled with intense features that will help you make really, really great movies and have fun doing it, which is really, I think, one of the best things about it. It's easy to use. It's intuitive. It's fun to use. And just to get a sense of what's available, I mean, just look at some of these menus. There's just so many commands and features. It, it really is has tremendous depth. And, and I'm really going to cover just about everything in the program over the course of this series of courses. So if you really want to learn the depths of Final Cut Pro, you should definitely check them out or just pick the ones that are most interesting to you and learn them a little at a time to get a sense of all the power of the program. There, there's one more thing I do want to talk about before we leave this sort of introductory thing because it's a category of things that are, again, both fun to use and super easy and will help you sort of understand the power of the program. And this is what I call the media libraries. And you access them through clicking on these buttons over here in the toolbar. For example, the filters, video filters. So here are a bunch of video effects that you can apply to create different cool looks to your video, right? And these, and you see this is a great little feature here. If you just skim over them, you sort of see the effect up there updated in the in the viewer automatically. So you don't have to like apply it and then figure out if it's something you want. Like you can sort of just experiment a little bit just by, by rolling your pointer over there. And there's both video filters and audio filters. And there's a whole lot of different fun things you can do with the audio as well. In fact, here, let's just, uh, just for fun, play that as well. So I'm just going to go to the Hungary. You are creating a new market. We're just helping the Hungary. You are creating a new market. <laughs> And so on. You get a sense of that. So, I mean, there's all sorts of cool video and audio filters. So if you click on the next one here, this is access to your photos. And this is basically looking at iPhoto. And in iPhoto, I've got access to all my photos. And if you want to use a picture in one of your videos, you can access it really easily there. This is music. So you can access your iTunes library. You can access not only all of your music, but any individual playlists you may have made. Uh, as well as GarageBand. If you've got some GarageBand tracks, you can access them here. So this is a quick access to all the music on your computer. The next thing is transition effects. And this is how you would create a little uh, special effect to go from one clip to the other. And to apply one of those, you just drag and drop it onto the edit between two clips. And then when you play that, you see that little flash effect that I just created there. And, and so forth. These are how you'd apply all the different video transitions. The next category are titles. And these are, you can do all sorts of cool, simple titles and complex titles. Some of them have uh, graphical elements, like this has all these little sparkles, or this has little backgrounds for the text. And there's a whole lot of these. And again, I'm going to cover how to use these and customize them, and even how to build your own from scratch in the in-depth tutorials in a few, in one of the courses coming up. Next are generators. These are images that are created automatically built into the program. So these are backgrounds and, and videos and, and animated elements that you can use for a variety of purposes, uh, just as textual elements or even as you know primary video elements, all sorts of fun things you've got access to in here. And these can really help enhance your movies to create really nice looking effects. And finally, we have themes, and themes are groups of these things, basically. They're, they're special things. So it's similar in iMovie to sort of the themes in iMovie, where you get automatic transitions and titles of a certain type. And you can sort of do a similar thing here in, in uh, Final Cut Pro, where you can choose one of these themes, and then all the transitions you use and all the titles you use will be specific and consistent within that theme. So all these are, are what I call the media libraries, and you can access them just by clicking any of these buttons and then click any of the same button to hide them so that you don't need them distracting you on the screen while you're not using them.